Hi guys. Today we will analyze Gilead Sciences stock and calculate its intrinsic value using two different valuation models. Enjoy. Hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Technical analysis. The stock's overall performance in the market is below average. Also recent evolutions are not positive. Both the medium and short term picture give negative signs. The stock is currently trading near the lower end of its 52 week range, which is not a good sign. Support level is around $59.50. Strong support level is around $56.80. Resistance level is around $69. The next resistance level is around $72.50. In the last month, the stock has been trading between $60.80 and $69 range. It is currently trading near the lows of this range. The stock has an average volume of 9.5 million. This is a good sign as it is always nice to have a liquid stock. Intrinsic value Buy low, sell high. We have heard it many times before. But how to know when it's low, and when it's high? The intrinsic value of a stock, is its true value. It refers to what a stock is actually worth. Even if some investors think it's worth a lot more than that amount. Intrinsic value is important, because it can help investors understand whether the cost of a stock is undervalued, or overvalued compared to the market value of the stock. Let's calculate the stock's intrinsic value. For more accurate results, we will use two different valuation models to calculate the intrinsic value of the stock. Discounted free cash flow model, using the formula below, then, valuation based on earnings per share, 5 year average PE ratio and expected growth rate. First model Discounted free cash flow valuation. This spreadsheet contains some financial data that we will use for the stock valuation. We see that the average revenue growth rate of the stock has been around minus 2% per year, for last 5 years. We see that the average profit margin of the stock has been around 18% per year, for last 5 years. Also we see that the average free cash flow to net income rate of the stock, has been around 178% per year, for last 5 years. And we expect 8% per year average stock market return. Now. Let's consider three different scenarios for Gilead Sciences Company, bad, average, and good. First scenario. Gilead will have bad performance in next five years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future revenue growth rate would be low, 1%. Future profit margin would be low, 12%. Future free cash flow to net income rate would be low, 40%. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $48. Second scenario. Gilead will have average performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future revenue growth rate would be average, 2%. Future profit margin would be average, 17%. Future free cash flow to net income rate would be average, 50%. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $86. Third scenario. Gilead will have high performance in next 5 years and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future revenue growth rate would be high, 3%. Future profit margin would be high, 22%. Future free cash flow to net income rate would be high, 60%. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $138. Second model. Valuation based on earnings per share. This spreadsheet contains another financial data that we will use for the stock valuation. The current earning per share price for the company is 4.93. Minimum rate of return. I will use 12%. Because when we invest in individual stocks, we are looking for a higher return than the S&P 500. For Gilead, analysts forecast growth rate around 3% per year in next 5 years, and future PE around 9. Again, I will use 3 different scenarios for Gilead company, bad, average, and good. First scenario. Gilead will have bad performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future growth rate would be low, 1%. Future PE would be low, 12. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $23. Second scenario. Gilead will have average performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future growth rate would be average, 2%. Future PE would be average. 14. In this case, 
the fair value of the stock today would be $30. Third scenario. Gilead will have high performance in next five years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future growth rate would be high, 3%. Future PE would be high, 16. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $37. As you can see, today the stock is overvalued, $61, even if we expect the company's high performance in future. It's a good debt-free company with a good dividend, 4.78% yearly, however it has a very limited future growth. The stock looks fairly valued at the moment. But the current low valuation adequately reflects the future expectations. I put the stock on my watch list and I may consider buying the stock just for the dividend, but do not expect any growth in next few years here. Company Strengths Gilead Sciences is a biopharmaceutical company that has pursued and achieved breakthroughs in medicine for more than 30 years. The company is committed to advancing innovative medicines to prevent and treat life-threatening diseases, including HIV, viral hepatitis and cancer. Gilead operates in more than 35 countries worldwide. The company is well known for its new antiviral treatment for COVID-19, Vaclieri, Remdesivir. The treatment was first approved by the FDA for the treatment of hospitalized patients with COVID-19 in October 2020, and has now been either approved or authorized for temporary use in approximately 50 countries. Guild's return on assets of 9% and return on equity of 29% are amongst the best returns of the industry. Profit margin of 22% is amongst the best returns of the industry. Guild has a yearly dividend yield of 4.78%, which is a nice return. The dividend is nicely growing with an annual growth rate of 8%. Risks Like other biotech and pharma companies, Gilead faces significant risks related to the costs of new drug development, the ability to maintain a strong pipeline, and the ultimate revenue loss from generics when drugs come off patent. The company faces product concentration risk as more than 50% of total revenues are derived from HIV drugs. The company is currently a leader in the HIV market with a penetration of over 50%, but is facing increased competition from several large pharma companies. Gilead's HIV and Hepatitis C drugs are subject to price risk and reimbursement pressures in major markets. The company is expected to show a small growth in earnings per share. In the coming five years, the EPS will grow by 1% yearly. The revenue is expected to grow by only 3% on average over the next five years. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel.